What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Life of a Sneakerhead. Right now, we are here at Soul Stage in Alhambra, California, and we got a couple special guests with us today. We got Richie Lee and Tan Tang. It's your boy! What up, y'all? On your guys' channel, you guys are talking about men's lifestyle, streetwear, sneakers, nonstop. And you guys got the Richie Lee collection. One thing that I'm gonna ask of you guys today is to please give us the 2017 sneaker update. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, man, first sneaker we gotta talk about are these Ooh. pure Money for is right here, last release in 2007. And then I remember at that time on Nike Talk, they were called the Bling Blings. Bling Bling was still tight to use. That all right, name. all right, to be honest, <laughs> if you use the phrase Bling Bling now, it's kind of cheesy. So the Blings had oval laces and not the netting. The net, mm. it was more of like a leather yeah. and it had like holes in them. So it's kind of funny to think that these sneakers right here are so affordable for everybody, but you're True. still in the lane of like, man, what's relevant within the sneaker Because world. the Blings were actually kind of rare. Now Odell Beckham Jr., he had the uh, Fresh Fits. It's kind of crazy to see an all white Jordan. Like there's not that many all white Air Jordans and I, I felt sure. like that they did a really good job. It's funny because making them all white, it kind of brings it down to the level of the all white Air Force Ones. Mm, but I true. feel like what makes this shoe stand out is definitely the chrome like little yeah, tabs right yeah. here. Yeah. I'm glad that Jordan came out with like a sneaker that was affordable for the kids that was yeah. still hot. Let's transition. So these are the two hottest affordable kicks that kids can get. What these mean to the sneaker world, and prior to these coming out, they were mad expensive. Like, mm -hmm. you could not get your hands on them. And it's because they released so many of the breads, they barely gave any love to the Royals. So when mm -hmm. the Royals came out, mm -hmm. everybody wanted them, man. Yeah. To Definitely. have both of these sneakers for around 400 bucks, that's a solid collection right here. This rotation gets you some honey. All right, speaking of NMDs and Ultra Boost, we're here at the Adidas wall now. The NMDs, man, I feel like these were a super flop. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, like not, not sales, Wise, you know, obviously. You mean but the NMDs in general or just in general? Oh. Yeah. All right, Richie, real quick, explain yourself. And what do you mean by the NMD is a flop? Because we all kind of agreed last year that that was the, the shoe of the year. Way too many colorways. Too many oh, colors. because of the amount of colorways that they yeah. came out with, then it's going down. Yeah. You know what's super okay. weird to me? They didn't wait for it to develop that iconic status nah. like the Jordan 1 before they Jordan 1 did out. You know how mm -hmm. Jordan 1 just got like a trillion different versions mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, yeah, But what you're saying right there is uh, I think they're actually doing that with the 40s, the Adidas 40s. They're kind of waiting for people to uh, really get this hype around them. Right now, the only MD that's saving MD is the Pharrell Collapse. Yeah. They're rolling out a ton of Boost sneakers with different mm. uh, silhouettes, man. It's crazy. For myself, when I think of Boost, I think of the Ultra Boost. Out of the, all the Boost, you guys gotta let us know which Boost sneaker is the one. I don't see you in Boost that often nowadays. Nah, Correct me if I'm wrong. Nah. The reason why we don't wear runners as much anymore is because we don't really wear the whole like zipper pants with the distress anymore yeah. as much as we like. And I feel like those go well with these shoes. Mm -hmm. For me, and, and I've said this before, I'm not the biggest fan of Boost. Like, mm. especially in basketball mm. shoes. But obviously, the Ultra Boosts are a comfortable shoe, no doubt about it. I could easily have a pair, but I just, I don't know, I feel like I haven't worn all the Jordans I want to. Definitely for everyday wear, I agree that actually Boost is a great pick. I said this on my channel, man, I feel like you don't get that same feeling when you rock a pair of Yeezys now. These are called the Power Phases. They're like a, uh, a kind of, they look like the uh, Reeboks, the original Reeboks. They're definitely wearable. I've seen people pull these off uh, pretty cool, and they look good with track, like track pants. It's a basic shoe, so you kind of got to do something a little crazy with your outfit. Who had the hottest fit that you saw with this? Man, probably uh, my grandma, man. I mean, Damn! I mean, this type of shoe was <laughs> for the home care, man. Shout out to his grandma, she was fly. I think at the end of the day, man, I think he went off this shoe with his whole collection. His whole collection was more like track suit like so let's pair it off with uh, some track shoes, type of walking shoes type thing. And I'm looking at him now, I'm like, they grew on me already. Wow, they that's look a little just bit. A, that's just a little hype piece in you. Ah! <laughs> Yo, you guys, has the Yeezy bubble burst? I so, said this earlier, but I feel like when you rock a pair of Yeezys, man, you don't really get that same feeling. When you see someone rock a pair of Yeezys, it's almost like you expect it now. For $700, you can get a shoe where you're like, okay, that guy has some unique flavor. Well, it's funny because you're talking about the downfall of the Yeezy and you already saw it with the re-release of a V1 yep. 350. Yep. Let's talk about the V2s. We gotta uh, acknowledge Kanye did say he wanted yes. Yeezys for everybody. Yeah. That's if you're gonna call yep. a sneaker an olive sneaker, don't disrespect the olive color by doing this sneaker right here. What yeah. is this called? You this heard it from like, Richie, the olive man himself. This is Poo Poo Sands. That's what they should have <laughs> been called, the Poo Poo Sands, all right? Not olives. So, hey, here's, here's a theory. Maybe they saw like this color, you know, the with the color stripe. Mm -hmm. They were like, let us just release a whole bunch of colors of these. These are the ones that everybody's gonna have. Man, I just, when I seen Kanye, Kanye wore the first picture I saw, the samples on his feet, felt like it was a perfect colorway for the V2. Perfect amount of black, 
perfect amount of white, and then just that, that red, that little dash of red, man. At the end of the day, I think Kanye and Adidas have a plan, and the plan was mass produce a bunch of these midsoles and just slap on two different colorways, man. I think Yeezys are falling off a little bit. Uh, just like say, music, you one hit away, you one sneaker away from yep, yep, being at the top say, yep. again. Like, oh, let's just say this, it's falling off in a good way. It's that's a heavy statement. in a good way. <laughs> that's, a, that's a heavy statement. Who, who wants to pay thousands of dollars for, for Yeezys, man? If you could be okay with other uh, non-sneaker heads wearing the same shoe as you, then you should be happy that the price are dropping in Yeezys. For me, 2017, I'm really looking forward to the innovation of the Ultra Boost for the future crafts, Ooh. man. Okay. I feel like the whole NMDs and all that and the 3.0 Ultra Boost falling off, I feel like these might bring back I'm looking forward to kind of going off what Richie said. I'm looking forward to people really showing themselves and expressing themselves more through the clothes and the shoes that they buy. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Man, huge shout out to Richie Lee, Tan Tang. In the comments section below, number one, make sure you let us know what you think is your favorite shoe of 2017 so far. And number two, make sure you let us know some upcoming trends that you think are gonna be really relevant for the second half of 2017. And number three, like and subscribe down below. Definitely check out Richie's channel. Tan's on there too. Again, we are at Soul Stage in Alhambra, California. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Shout out to the Fun Bros for having us on their channel. Make sure you guys check out my channel if you guys get a chance to check out Tan's Instagram. It was good. Fun Bros, Alhambra, we out. Peace. Peace.